Hello and welcome to the Q Time. So I am Buba Sirikan and today I will be taking you on a tutorial on how you can restrict or minimize your data consumption on your smartphones. As uh, some customers do tend to um, experience high data consumption on their mobile phones, today I am here to show you how you can just minimize or stop that totally using your Android or iPhone. But today's tutorial is all about Android devices. So the first thing you do is you have to head into your mobile settings and your mobile settings can be visible on your menu. Once you click the mobile settings, now you'll go into connections. All Android phones have different ways of finding your data usage, but the first thing you have to do is find the data usage. And how can you do that? Just type data usage on your search bar, or if you go into connection, you will see data usage. So once you click connection and you will see data usage. Data usage, once you click it, now you will see an option in there called data saver. As you can see at the moment, the data saver is currently off. If this, if this data saver is off, it means that all the apps that are pre-built and pre-installed in the phone will be currently running on the background and this will result in high data charges. So to stop this, all you have to do is to on this data saver. Once you on the data saver, now all the apps that are in the background will be restricted from using your data if you are not currently using that app or if you are not physically using the app. This is how you minimize your consumption using your Android phone and it doesn't just stop there. You have to also head into your Play Store and stop all the automatic updates that are currently running in the mobile phone as this will result in high data consumption. So this is how you restrict and minimize some of the settings in your mobile phones. If you want to know more, do call our customer care on 111 for any further information regarding how you can restrict or minimize your data usage on your Android devices. Do join me here on QTV as I'll be bringing you more tutorials on how you can do just this. Until then, it's a goodbye from me. I will see you in our next episode.